Hi guys, in this video we'll be talking about how we can actually create such a beautiful chart in Excel. Amazing uh, latest chart, it is available, available from Excel 2016. So if you have Excel 2016, 19 or using 365, you can actually create such amazing chart in few seconds. You're just having some data, geographical data and then some values along with it. As I have some data related to India, I'll be showing it to you in detail and some population census data will be plotting the same onto this amazing chart. So let's see. Now, my name is Lokesh Lalwani and thank you for coming up to our channel Nurture Tech Academy. And if you are coming here for the first time, if you came here for the first time, I would highly recommend you to subscribe it and also press the bell icon. Let's see how we can create it. First of all, let me just delete this chart and let me just start creating that all over again. Over here, I have some states and union territory available. For example, in India, we have uh, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal, all such states are available and their population census as per 2011 is also mentioned. I just want to plot it as a heat map onto India geographical chart, right? So that is what my requirement is. So simply you must be having your states, cities and the name must be very clear so that that can be understood by Bing map. Okay, that's very important because Microsoft has Bing map. It's not about Google map, but we, it has its own Bing map. So it'll be able to plot it. That is what the requirement is, right? So name must be clear enough. So it'll be able to understand it and can be plotted clearly onto the map, right? So no zip codes are required. Nothing is required. We'll simply select it. I'm just selecting the same. I've taken out this data from Wikipedia, by the way. So I'm selecting the data. Two columns, one is the state and one is population. And after the same, I'll simply go to insert tab as I'm using Excel 2019. So I have that feature available. If I go towards the right, you will notice in the charts group, we have maps. There is a globe icon available there. So that icon may vary depending on the version of Excel you are using. I will go to maps and there I have this field map. And clearly by just going over there, it is creating that map. There is nothing if I go over there as more map charts because we don't have other map charts available. I have another options option which is 3D map. I'll be talking about that in a different video which is also very amazing. But right now, it'll be just a flat map but kind of a heat map for us. So I've clicked onto the same and there we go, boom, I am having this map with me over here. Now, you will notice a couple of things at the top, we have some design and format option available, right? And you will notice we have some uh, quick layouts and all those designs are available. That's also quite good to use. First of all, if you look at the map, you will see kind of a heat based on the um, the population over there. So depending on that, you can also show the sales the cost, number of orders, number of customers, number of stores, all such thing can be plotted onto a map, can be represented represented to the top management, would be very useful for them to just check out in one go, right? And you can see over here how it is actually moving. If I hover over, you will see a tooltip along with the population into that state. Amazing, right? And a few, few more options are available. If I go to this plus sign, we have the data labels. If I choose it, it will be very crowded by the way. So you can actually show this in another form also. It's completely up to you. I won't be showing that because I would like to rely on the tooltip that works for me, right? And you can also change the data, uh, the chart title. In the, in the newest uh, chart title, you won't be able to link it as generally we do it. So I can just write it over here. I'm not writing it. I want to show few options to you quickly. In this case, if you see, we have some some uh, designs or styles which are available. As you can see, I if I hover over, you can see all such designs available, right? Now, again, uh, what we have is the color pattern available. We can use these palettes. For example, I'll go with this one. You can simply change as per the color theme that your company follow. It also looks quite good, okay? You can go with that. One more thing I would like to show you is the quick layout. So sometimes you may need to change few things here and there. Maybe the le legends, maybe the chart title, how it looks like, the actual chart, uh, uh, few more things, right? So what you can do, you can simply go to the 
quick layout and I want to show you how it looks like. For example, the chart title and the uh, legend is coming like this. This is actually the one which is already selected. If I hover over onto this one, you will notice you will be having the chart title along with the legend over there itself. It's already there. It's, it's mentioned over there. You can play around with that. No need to manually do it, right? It becomes easier if you go with these quick layouts. So guys, this is how we can actually create it. I also would like to go to the view tab and would like to also uncheck the grid lines. I really like this option, by the way, when I would like to present it to someone and want to send it across to someone, right? So I believe you like the video. If you like it, do hit the like button over there. If you have any query question, just put it into the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed this channel so far, subscribe it. You are missing a lot in Excel, PowerPoint and Power BI. Also would like to tell you one thing that I am having a detailed course on Excel, which is from basic till advanced. If you are interested, the link is mentioned in the description as well as in the first comment. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.